welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today the intros continue. I know it's been a lot of intros but uh, I think I have two more after this. This is the last of the ones that are year long as far as from January 1 to December 31 and this one is not your typical um, painting project at least not um, for me. This is the whole collection project polish. Um, I'm not sure who created it. Um, I got this information from Amanda. She is the nail polish hound. She is on Instagram as well as YouTube. I'm going to have her link down below. There's a bunch of ladies that are joining in, though I haven't seen any of their intros yet. So I'm not 100% who, I'm not 100% sure who is joining in and who's not joining in. As soon as I have that full list, I will make sure it is down in my description box so you can go check them out if you want to join in, of course, um, you know join in, have some fun with your polish. Um, I have quite a bit of polish, though not nearly as much as a lot of these ladies that um, did it last year. I don't know how many years this has been going on. I just kind of jumped into it because um, I saw Amanda talking about it, not like the Amanda you're used to me talking about, but Amanda the Nail Polish Hound. Um, I, I think it was on her channel, could have been on Instagram, I don't remember. Um, and I was like, that sounds like what I want to do for next year. And um, so that's what I'm doing. Basically, the gist of it is you randomly draw 10-ish um, 10, 10 polishes. You can do a little more, a little less. Depends on your collection, what you want to work with. And you have to use it once. That's it. And then um, go on to the next polish. So um, this is kind of based off of, if you remember Becky Loves Kanga. I know she's not... Um, uploading anymore. I don't know if she's coming back. I don't know what that was about, um, where she's been. So I, don't ask. I don't know. But this was based on her whole collection project pan. And um, it's just for nail polish. You can do it however you want. I'm going to read the um, the overview as Amanda has like a little um, document here. It says, this is a year long project for people who want to use more of their nail polish collection. Whether your collection is big or small, you can join this project. This is based on the whole collection project pant originally created by Becky Loves Kanga. The rules on this one are purposely loose so that you can tailor the project to your own needs and nail polish goals. I'm going to have all of that listed down below. So it says the rules <laughs> in quotation marks. Um, select 10 or more or less nail polishes at random and you can do that however you want. And if you didn't want to do them random, you could probably get away with that too. It's like the rules are merely suggestions, I think. Um, number two, you can choose from your whole collection or a subsection. For example, some people might want to only work on their untried polishes, things that they haven't used before. Three, you can make the random, how you make the random selection is up to you. Um, you can update monthly or bi-monthly showing which polishes you have used. Um, you can put many pictures in there if you want. You can probably even put pedicure pictures in there if you so choose. Um, you roll out the used polishes and you only have to use them once. And then select new polishes at random to roll in and replace the ones that you have used. All right. So I'm going to have all of this information down below in case you want to check it out. If you want to join in, have some fun. As you all know, this is my play year. I just want to touch all the things, play with all the things. So that being said, I did actually um, screen record. I did wheel the side on my laptop with all of my nail polishes in it. And um, I let it choose randomly 15 polishes. You'll actually see 16 in this um in this little video clip that I'm going to show you because one of them is actually a gel polish that I forgot to pull out. I don't want to work on my gel polishes this year because um, the wear time on, the, on those is so much longer. They're more complicated to take off and um, yeah, I just, that's not something I really want to play around with this year. So just my basic nail polishes, nail lacquers, is all I'm going to have in here. So um, this little clip, like I said, is going to have 16 in it and um, we're only doing 15. The first polish that I got was the Revlon Streetwear in Meteor Shower. It is a, it's kind of a silver base with silver and kind of like a light purple glitter. Actually, I think the light purple is more of a shift than the glitter. I think just the, the glitters are silver. I've had this forever, like literally forever. And, um, I want to say I got this in probably like the year 2000. <laughs> That's yeah, it's, it's a really old polish. So 
I've had that around. I'm going to enjoy using that. I do like the streetwear. I wish they still made them, to be quite honest. Next up, I got the Sally Hansen Miracle Gel in How You Bluein'. This is from the Friends collection from the television series Friends, and it is a fun blue, and I'm very much looking forward to it. My children got me this for Christmas this year, or last year, since we're <laughs> in a new year now, um, so I'm really excited to be able to try that one for the first time. Next up, we got the China Glaze Nail Lacquer in Lemon Ice. This is bright. It is very, very bright and I'm here for it. I am not very good at describing color, so hopefully the video overlay will convey all of the color that is in here. It is really pretty. Um, I'm very much looking forward to this. It is another polish that my kids got me for Christmas, and of course, that means I haven't used it yet. Next, we have one that, I, if I'm being completely honest, I'm not looking forward to using. I like the color. This is the My Beauty Spot polish and um, it doesn't have a name, at least not that I could find anywhere on the bottle. I just have it in my list as silver. It is beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful on. It has like a lot of depth to it because it's, it, it looks like little pieces of metal floating and um, it's really pretty, but it does not dry well and um, it chips really easily. I am not normally a declutter kind of person, but if I was going to declutter a nail polish, this would be one that I would seriously consider getting rid of. Next one, I'm actually very excited to work with. This is NYC um, or New York Color. I don't even think that brand is still around. Um, this is just a fast dry nail enamel and it does not have a name that I am able to see on the bottle. So I just have this one in as silver as well. I'm actually looking forward to using this one because it's very pretty. It kind of reminds me of a cloudy day in a good way, in a good way. All right, the next one, um, like this one is another really old one, but I love the color. This was um, from a color kit I had gotten as a gift many moons ago. And um, it's just like a pretty dusty rose metallic color. I don't know what brand it is. I don't know what the color name is. I just think it's really pretty and I'm looking forward to using it. All right, next up we have Sinful Colors from their Trend Matters line. And this one is in Haute Coffee, Coffee with a K, um, which is weird because it is a kind of a dark, deep, I wouldn't call it like an antique red kind of magenta color. So I don't know about coffee, but um, it is a very pretty shade. And I think this is a perfect one for winter. So I'm looking forward to wearing that one. Moving on, another really, really, really old nail polish. This one is Flirty Fuchsia. I actually got this from my nail kit when I went to Kazi school to get my nail license and let me tell you, that was a long time ago. I want to say I got my license in 2001, and yeah, <laughs> it's it's been around for a hot minute. I have a lot of really, really old polishes, and I like the way that we've done this randomly because I'm getting some really old ones, but I'm also getting new ones that I haven't tried yet. So, And some of the ones that are really old, I haven't touched in many years, so it'll be exciting to see if I still like them, if they still work, and um, you know, we'll, we'll just, we're gonna play it by ear if any of these get decluttered. I, like I said, I'm not normally a declutter person, but if they don't function anymore, I'm probably gonna get rid of them, especially the ones that are 20 plus years old, which is a little crazy, just, just a little crazy. All right, let's keep going. The next one is from Wet n Wild. It does not have a color name. It is 407A. Don't know what that stands for, but I remember back in the day, I would go into the drugstores and um, Wet n Wild would have like these big racks of um, makeup and especially nail polishes, like huge racks of nail polishes and they all just had numbers and I would just go through and pick the ones that I liked. And this is one of those that I've had probably longer than I've had my nail license. So this could easily be like 25 to 30 years old. I know, I know you guys are thinking I'm absolutely insane. And I am. It's okay. It is okay. Nail polish 
generally doesn't go bad unless it gets like gloopy or doesn't dry or whatever. I've had some polishes for a very long time that still work beautifully. And then I've had other polishes that I haven't had that long that just get kind of gross and aren't very good anymore. So um, it's, nail polish is one of those things that don't generally expire by basic standards. Um, it's just if they still function. And sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Next one is a brand new one, also from the Sally Hansen Miracle Gel Friends Collection. This is Pivot. Sorry, I had to say it like Ross said it. Uh, this is absolutely stunning. Um, I just, I am so excited to wear this. It is a beautiful orange with hollow glitters. And um, it kind of looks like it's going to be a good topper. I don't know um, if I will wear it on its own. I probably will wear it over like an orange base because I have those, just not in this collection. Not in this 15, I should say. Moving on to another brand new one that I got for Christmas from my children. This is the Nina Ultra Plus, Ultra Pro in Glamping. That is um, allegedly Glamour Camping, which kind of defeats the purpose of camping if you ask me, but you didn't ask me. I just told you. So yeah, I'm really excited to try this one. I love glitter toppers, and that is exactly what this is. It looks like a clear base with just the pink glitters floating throughout, and I'm here for it. I love my glitter toppers. Moving on to the next one, which is the OPI Infinite Shine 2. Do you see what I see? C as in like the ocean, C, S, E, A. And it is a beautiful ocean kind of blue, metallic, and it almost looks like it has a little bit of micro glitter in it. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And it is, um, it is similar, but not the same to the Sally Hansen one. Um, the Sally Hansen one is a little more cool toned and has more of a shift where the OPI definitely has like some micro glitters in it. So it's the same, only different. <laughs> All right, last three. This is the one that I currently have on my nails. This is the China Glaze Nail Lacquer in Little Green Monsters. I absolutely love this. It's just stunning to me. It is a beautiful, like warm tone green and it has a red shift to it which I hope the camera is picking it up because I, it just, it is so stunning to me. I love my greens. I absolutely love my greens. And that one has not disappointed. Um, I think this was the first time I've ever used it. My kids actually got it for me for Christmas of 2021. And it's, I'm sad to say that it took me over a year of owning it before I ever used it. Pretty sad. All right, moving on to one that I've had for quite some time, though not nearly as long as, you know, the ones I got during nail school. Um, this is from Creative Nail Design, or CND as they go by now. This is in the beautiful red shade of Tabloid. I just love this. It's a classic red cream to me, and yeah, it's super pretty. All right, going on to the very last one, another one that I got for Christmas this year or 2022 for my kids. So excited to play with this color. This is the China Glaze Nail Lacquer in Frosty Lime, and it is just that. It is a frosty lime. It has some micro glitters in it, and it is that bright neon green. I, I feel like I'm back in the 80s when like neon colors were like a thing. And jelly shoes were a thing too. Anyone else uh, like a kid in the 80s and remember those kinds of crazy things? Yeah, I feel like the 80s is coming back. So those are the 15 polishes that I am going to be working on for the next month. And hopefully I will get most of them used and get pictures of Manny's. I, I'm hoping to insert pictures of um, my nails whenever I have them done so that I can you know, show you what I did with them and roll some out, roll some new stuff in. I really want to get through a good portion of my collection this year um, just to see what I still love, what I don't like anymore, what is still working, what is not, and um, move on from there. This, like I said, may be one of those categories where I might actually declutter something if 
the polish is not functioning as it is supposed to. That is one of the few reasons I will actually declutter is if um, something has gone completely off and um, doesn't do what it's supposed to do, causes irritation, and it just it just generally won't work anymore. So that is probably the only reason I will declutter and um, we'll see how this goes because that is kind of part of the reason why I wanted to do this project with Amanda and the girls. So uh, wish me luck and we'll see how many polishes I can get through. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you in my next video, have a beautiful day.